Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to prune a jade bonsai tree. Jade is a very popular bonsai among all the bonsai enthusiasts and it is a very hardy tree. Uh, it's very difficult to kill a jade tree. So most of the beginners who begin bonsai as a passion start off with one of the trees as jade or pochulaka afra. Pruning is essential to keep your jade bonsai healthy and looking great. Let's get started. Before pruning, I allow the tree to grow fully so that the tree gets all its energy that it needs. As you can see, this is an overgrown tree. The best time to prune your jade bonsai is in late spring or early summer. This is when the plant is growing the most and can recover quickly. But you can do some light pruning any time of the year to keep it in shape. First let's talk about what you'll need. You'll need a pair of sharp scissors or pruning shears and obviously clean your tools with some alcohol to keep your tools clean to prevent any bacterial infections. We need to clean our tools with rubbing alcohol or even hand sanitizer. This helps to prevent any germs from spreading to our plant. Next take a good look at your plant, see how it's growing and think about the shape you want. And we are aiming for a balanced nice looking shape. Start by removing any dead or yellow leaves that you see on your tree. This has the plant focus on healthy growth. Now look for long spindle branches. We want to make sure that we cut these back to make the plant look fuller. And uh, cut just above a leaf or node where you want new growth to appear. As you can see I am carefully cutting the branches that I do not need and I have a conical shape in my mind that I want to give this uh, tree right from the apex of the tree looking down. And I start always start with the lowest uh, branch shaping upwards. Step by step, I prune each branch. As per the bonsai rules, the lowest branch can be either a left branch or a right branch. And the next branch <coughs> should be the opposite of the lowest branch. And the third branch should be a back branch. You can see on this tree, we have first branch as a left branch and then we have the right branch and then we have a back branch. So starting with the lowest branch I am going upwards now, now I am pruning the apex to give it that conical shape as I mentioned. If some parts of your jade bonsai are too crowded, thin them out a bit. Uh, this lets light and air uh, to go inside the tree which is good for the, the tree. Also as they always say, as the experts have always said, allow space between your branches, between two branches so that the birds can get, get enough space to fly between the branches. I am done with my main pruning, now I am thinning the branches even more to create the space between branches so that the tree looks more beautiful. And since this is a growing season, uh, this bonsai will grow back very fast. I am carefully looking all sides of the tree to see any branches need to be pruned further. creating spaces between the branches. Uh, 
and uh, here is the final tree it looks awesome as a tree in nature I will plan to move this into a nice bonsai pot in December this year just before spring thanks everyone for watching this video uh, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos that's coming your way I hope you like this tree I am giving it the final touches on the pruning to make it look even better and matured. As you can see, I have cut a lot of the, ma the material that had overgrown and it had was spoiling the shape of the tree. I will use these for my cuttings. Jades grow very easily with cuttings. And uh, again, you can see the final look on my tree. This is a close view of the tree, the base, the roots are flaring and you can see as the tree grows up it has a lovely movement and a shape giving it the mature look of a tree in nature. Thank you so much friends for watching, have a great day.